हेलो कैन यू हियर मी हेलो Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Have you tried the exercise? Yes, sir. I tried. Are you able to get the questions? Yes, sir. Is there any problem? Any question? So every question was trying. You have understood like before the exercise in the book, he has described rules like sine one eighty minus theta is sine theta. Yes. Sir. Do you understand how all these are coming now? Yes. Sir. Tell me how it is coming. About uh, sine one eighty minus theta, no. All of these rules. How do you understand them? So that you don't have to remember. Uh, first, uh... hello. Yeah, I'm here. Yes. You have to explain how these rules are coming. So one second. Actually, we will say like uh, we will make the unit circle of radius one. Then what on the unit circle? Uh, like uh, first. One second, I can wait and see. Okay, yes. Uh, so I I made the circle and I just uh, made the angle of one eighty minus theta. Okay. And then I found the x x coordinate and this points x and y coordinate will be what? One second. Oh. So uh, the x coordinate will be uh, cos theta and that's yes. wrong. You have to remember what we defined. The x coordinate is not cos theta. It's cos 180 minus theta. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. If you say x coordinate is cos theta, it's wrong. Yes, sir. What did we learn in the last class? Any point on the circle, the x coordinate and the y coordinate are the total angles cos and sine. Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. If you have to find out what cos 180 minus theta is, now you have to think of, okay, what is the actual value of the x coordinate? You have to draw this right yes. angle and say that this distance, if this distance is D, the X coordinate is minus D. Sir, the screen is lagging a little bit, like it is coming late. 
that is a problem with your connection. My internet is fine. So you have to check your connection if it is lagging. This point P, the X coordinate will be minus D. Then this distance is D. This angle is theta. The radius is one. You will say cos theta is equal to D by one. So D is equal to cos theta. An X coordinate is equal to minus D. So X coordinate is minus cos theta, which means cos of 180 minus theta is equal to minus cos theta. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Sir, screen, uh, should I rejoin the meeting? No. I'm not able to. Rejoin the meeting. Yes, sir. It is coming late. In this. Leave the meeting and rejoin. Yes. Can you hear yes. me right now? Yes, sir. Now it is clear. If you have to show that sine 180 plus theta is minus sine theta, we will again. Yes, sir. Same steps sir. like the uh, left angle. This is my point. This is 180 plus theta. This point's x and y coordinates will be what? Uh, X coordinate will be cos 180 plus theta. Y coordinate is sine 180 plus theta. Yes, sir. So we have to find the Y coordinate of this point. Let's say this distance is D. This is 1. This angle is clearly theta. The Y coordinate of this point P is equal to minus D. Yes, sir. And in this small right angle triangle, we can say D by 1 is equal to sine theta. So yes. D is sine theta. So Y coordinate is minus sine theta. And Y coordinate was sine of 180 plus theta. Yes. So all the rules that are given in the SL only book, all of the rules can be derived by the unit circle method. Yes, sir. And you need to understand the unit circle method. If you don't want to remember all of them, you need to understand it so that you can yourself do it when required. Yes. Sir. If, if sometimes someone is asking you sine of minus theta, negative angle or cos of minus theta, all yes. the angles so far that we have been seeing are like this. These are positive angles. It's anti if the angles are anti-clockwise, it is positive angles. If it if you want negative angles, you have to go like this. Yes. On the circle. So nothing will change except you will go in an opposite way. So minus 30 degree would be somewhere here. It is the same thing 
as 330 degree from this side. Right? Yes, sir. So you can show that sine 330 degree, you can find the value of the sine 330 degree. That is basically going to be the y coordinate of this point. Right? Yes, sir. And y coordinate of this point will clearly be negative and it will be negative half. Yes, sir. So sin. You can say that sine minus theta is coming out to be minus sine theta. Yes, sir. By checking the value, it comes out as negative half, which is basically minus sine 30. Yes. Similarly, cos of minus theta actually will come out to be same as cos theta. Yes, it has x coordinate is positive. So these two are important rules. So in, a, in case you have negative angles, these two are important rules to tell you how sine and cos behave. Yes. If you know how sine and cos behave, obviously tan of minus theta will also be minus tan theta. Yes, sir. Very very So basically, the normal steps of all of the all of the angles and how to understand basic ratios for all the angles are done. Now we have to go to the next chapter, which is going to talk about the general solutions of equations. So if you have some trigonometric equation, how to get the general solution? Trigonometric equations and general solutions. So the idea is if you have suppose sine theta is equal to root 3 by 2, obviously one possible answer for theta is pi by 3. Yes. But that is not the only answer possible. Yes, so we there have could, second quadrant. There could be many answers possible. Yes, sir. You have second quadrant also, you could turn around full circle and go in after 360 degree further angles, right? Yeah. Yes. So there are many solutions possible. The thing is, we want to be able to write all the possible solutions of this equation, not just one answer. Yes. So we want to say what is sine theta is equal to sine of pi by 3. Because root 3 by 2 is sine pi by 3. How do I write all the possible answers of theta, not just pi by 3? So in this case, you will find that theta is equal to n pi plus minus 1 power n pi by 3. This formula basically captures all possible values of theta. All possible values of theta here n is any integer n can be any integer so for example if n is 0 you get theta is pi by 3 right yes sir. if n is 1 you get theta is pi minus pi by 3 so theta is 2 pi by 3 if yes. n is 2 you get theta is 2 pi plus pi by 3. So theta is coming as more than 360 degree. So it is basically 420 degrees. So 2 pi plus pi by 3 is 7 pi by 3. So, is it only uh, for sine? What? Is it only for sine theta? Yes. This formula that we are seeing is only for sine theta. We'll have a different Obviously, we'll have a different result for cos theta and tan theta. Okay. The reason is, I mean, there's a proof of this, but uh, right now it is difficult to show you the proof because you don't know some basic expressions like sine A minus sine B and all, you don't know formulas. But later when we learn the formulas for these, we'll be able to show the proof of this also. Because... Technically, what I have to do is sine theta minus sine pi by 3 equals 0. 
and this equation I have to simplify. Mm -hmm. And we can only simplify it if we know a formula for this, right? Yes. So we learn later a formula when we do sin C minus sin D, how to simplify it. Once we learn that, we'll be able to show the proof of this, how this comes. Mm -hmm. However, right now, you need to understand what we are doing. So sine theta is root 3 by 2. We know one angle is 60 degree. We can easily check what is sine 2 pi by 3 also. 120 degrees. You will realize that the y coordinate of that point, which is sine 120 degree, is the same as the y coordinate sine 60, right? Yes. So it is obvious that this is correct. 2 pi by 3 is correct answer. Also, it is obvious that if you go around a full circle, 360 degree, and then go further 60 degree, you come back to the same point, right? Oh, yes, sir. So that is 420 degrees, which is 7 pi by 3. Yes, sir. If you come back to the same point, your sine value and cos value will be the same as before. Yes, Do you sir. understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Understood. So the first three values you can see is clearly fitting the same, is clearly working out to be correct. For all of those, sine theta will be root 3 by 2. Similarly, yes. four, if n is equal to 4 also you put, it will be 4 pi. No, n is equal to 4 is the fifth value. Yes. For the fourth value, you have to put n is equal to 3. Right? Yes, yes sir. N is equal to 3, you do 3 pi, it will be 3 pi minus pi by 3, which is basically 8 pi by 3, uh, 8 pi by 3 which is 8 into 480 degrees. So again, what is it? It is 360 degrees, one full circle plus 120 degrees, which is this point only again, right? Yes. So obviously that will also be true. Sin theta will be root 3 by 2 for that. So, yes. What we are saying is that in one example, in this example, the possible angles for theta, which satisfies this, is coming by writing root 3 by 2 as sine pi by 3, and then saying theta is equal to n pi plus minus 1 power n pi by 3. And n can be any integer, right? Yes, sir. So basically, we have a rule that if sine theta, suppose suppose you have an equation where sine x is equal to sine theta, and here x is unknown, and theta is some known value. Obviously, one side of the equation has to be known, otherwise you will not have an, otherwise everything is unknown, then there is no, no sense of the question, right? Yes. They have to give you something like sin x is equal to half or one or some value. Then only they will ask you what is the angle x, right? Yes. Sir. So if they give you some value half or one, you can write it as some known theta, sin theta, sin 30 degree or sin 60 degree or sin 90 degree or whatever, right? Yes. Sir. So theta becomes your known value known angle and x is your unknown angle, then we can write the formula as x is equal to n pi plus minus 1 power n theta. Yes. That general expression gives us the answers of all the sine theta that satisfy the equation. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay, uh, so that is for sine. The proof of this formula we'll see later, one or two chapters later. But right now you just have to know the general expression for solution of this equation. Now we look at cos theta. Suppose cos theta is equal to half. And now I need to find not just one 60 degree angle, I need to find all possible angles that satisfy this, right? Yes, sir. Now you can say that this is cos pi by 3 and 
the general solution in this case is theta is equal to 2n pi plus minus pi by 3, where again n is any integer. So the point is that again you take n as any integer. If you take n as 0, theta is coming as plus or minus pi by 3. So you get two answers for theta. Yes. Now you can check cos pi by 3 is anyway half. Cos of minus pi by 3 is also half, right? Yes. Because we know cos of minus theta is same as cos of theta. Yes. So there are two angles that are coming. Minus pi by 3 plus pi by 3. If you take n is equal to 1, theta is becoming 2 pi plus minus pi by 3. Which yes. is basically 360 minus pi by 3. And 360 plus pi by 3. Yes. Right. Now you can again check what is 2 pi minus pi by 3, which is basically 300 degrees. Yes. Cos of 5 pi by 3. You can check the value of this by the unit circle method to yes. confirm whether it is correct or not. So if you want to go 300 degrees, this is 300 degrees, right? Yes. So this will be x coordinate of this point will be your cos 5 pi by 3. This is 1. This is the situation. If this is 300 degrees, this much is 60 degrees, right? Yes. x coordinate of this would be x by 1 is cos 60. So obviously x coordinate is cos 60. Yes. So cos 5 pi by 3 is clearly equal to cos 5 by 3, right? Yes. It is positive because the x is positive here. Yes. So what we are getting is again 2 pi minus pi by 3 is also satisfying. And 2 pi plus pi by 3 is like saying go one full circle and then go above another pi by 3, right? Yes, which is obviously going to be same because cos pi by 3 was anyway half. Yes. Right? So the point is that for cos, the general solutions are coming by this formula. So if you have an equation like this, cos x is equal to cos theta. Here theta is known, x is unknown. x will be given by 2n pi plus minus theta. Yes. For sin x, the equation was sin x is equal to sin theta. x is given by n pi plus minus 1 power n theta. Yes. Similarly, for tan x is equal to tan theta, the solution is x is equal to n pi plus theta. Okay. You, can, you can check again for tan x. If tan x is equal to root 3, which is basically tan pi by 3. What are the possible angles of x for which this is true? Check the formula n pi plus pi by 3. Here I will say it is n pi plus pi by 3. You can check different different values of n. n is 0, it is giving pi by 3. n is 1, it is giving pi plus pi by 3. Oh, and then n is 2, it is 2 pi plus pi by 3. So you need to check whether tan of 4 pi by 3 is coming as root 3 or not. Right? Yes. If it is coming as root 3, then our formula is becoming correct. Right? Yes. So tan of 4 pi by 3 would be pi plus pi by 3. So it is third quadrant somewhere here. And this is my point. The x and y of this are cos 4 pi by 3 and sine 4 pi by 3. Yes. And we can say that this is pi plus pi by 3. So this angle is pi by 3. So clearly you can see that the x is negative, y is negative, right? Yes. If you check, x will be minus cos pi by 3. And y will be minus sine pi by 3. Both x and y are negative here. Yes. So tan will be cos. So when you do 
tan of 4 pi by 3, that is going to be the ratio of sine 4 pi by 3 by cos 4 pi by 3. But sine yeah. 4 pi by 3 is minus sine pi by 3 and cos 4 pi by 3 is minus cos pi by 3. So tan yes. 4 pi by 3 is coming same as tan pi by 3, which means that our formula is working. Yeah. Do you understand what is happening? Yes, sir. These three formulas have to be remembered. These three general solutions. If you have an cos x is equal to cos theta, where x is unknown and theta is some known angle, then x can be written as this. Similarly, for sin x as sin theta, it's a different form. For tan x as tan theta, it's a different form. Yes. Now, based on this, we have some exercises. Uh, for example, exercise 11 on page 83 in the book. We can do some of those questions and see how, how to solve those. That is important to know how to do those. So, let's look at... Uh, for example, you have got to that page, right? Oh, okay, so one second. Wait. Example 11. One second. Eighty three pages, no? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. So, for example, if you want to solve some questions in this exercise, some of them are basic. The first, first 10 of them are pretty basic, direct applications of the formulas. Yes. So, we have to find the general solution in each case. For example, if you look at question 8, Question 8 is tan theta is minus 1. So tan theta is minus 1 and minus 1, what angle is it? Tan of minus pi by 4, you can say. Yes, sir. tan of minus theta. Tan of minus theta is minus tan theta. So tan of minus pi by 4 is definitely this. The theta yes. is my unknown angle. This is my known angle. The general formula says theta should be n pi plus the, unknown, the known angle. Right. Yes, so the answer for this is theta is n pi minus pi by 4, where n is any integer. Yes. So that's how you generally solve such equations. Let's look at question number 16. Question 16. Yes. So you have 2 cot square theta is equal to cos x square theta. Is equal to cos x square theta. So we have not gotten any, we have not remembered formulas for cot and cosec and all. We have remembered three formulas for sine, cos and tan. Yes. So the best way is obviously to convert everything to sine, cos and tan. Yes. So we'll say this is cos square theta by sine square theta is equal to 1 by sine square theta. We yes. will bring everything on one side. Sine square theta minus 1 by sine square theta is equal to 0. So we we'll get is... 2 cos square theta minus 1 is equal to 0. So this will be 0 only if 2 cos square theta minus 1 is 0. Right? So cos yes, square sir. theta is half. Only then this will be 0. Right? Yes. So if cos square theta is half, cos theta can be 1 by root 2 or cos theta can be minus 1 by root 2. 
right? Yes, sir. Now both of the possibilities are true. So you have to get the answer for both the cases. It's not just one case I will take and leave it. For example, if cos theta is equal to half one by root two, that is cos of pi by four. And the general solution in this case is theta is equal to two n pi plus minus pi by four, right? Yes. However, if cos theta is minus one by root two, minus one by root two comes if you do pi minus pi by four, right? Yes. We know cos pi minus theta is minus cos theta. So cos three pi by four is equal to minus one by root two. Right? Yes. So we also get the situation where theta is 2n pi plus minus 3 pi by 4. Right? So these are the possible answers. Theta can be 2n pi plus minus pi by 4 or 2n pi plus minus 3 pi by 4. Okay, sir. Are you understanding or are you just saying okay? No, sir. Understanding. Why are we getting two different answers? Because we are having two different possible values here. Yes. And in this equation, you also have to check that it should never be that sine theta should never be zero. Because then the equation is not defined. Yes, sir. If sine theta is zero, your cot and cosec will never be defined, right? Yes. So if at some value that you are giving here, sine theta is zero, then that value has to be rejected, right? Yes. So sine theta is not equal to zero. You can say not equal to sine of zero. So you can say theta is not equal to n pi plus minus one power n into zero. So theta should not be equal to n pi. Right? Yes, sir. So we have three uh, answers. No? We don't have three answers. We have these two answers. And this is theta cannot be it, this. This is not an answer. This is a exclusion. You have to exclude these values. Yeah, OK. You have to remove these values. You have to specify that it cannot be n pi. It can be these two. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. This exercise is pretty easy. The next exercise is also an application of the same concepts, examples 12. However, that is slightly more advanced. So we look at some questions from examples 12. So which is after two, three pages, you have to go to that exercise. Yes. For example, there, if you see question number five, question five in examples 12, four cos theta minus three sec theta is equal to two tan theta. Three yes. Sec theta is equal to two tan theta. You have to solve this equation and find all the possible values of theta which satisfy this equation. So the point is to convert the sec to cos and sine. Tan also you can convert to cos and sine. You will say 4 cos theta minus 3 by cos theta is equal to 2 sine theta by cos theta. Right? Yes, sir. This becomes, if you take cos theta denominator, it is 4 cos square theta minus 3 is equal to 2 sine theta by cos theta. And you get, bring everything to one side, you get 4 cos square theta minus 3 minus 2 sine theta by cos theta equals 0. So our equation is when the top part becomes zero, it will become zero. Yes, sir. Four cos square theta minus three minus two sine theta is zero. 
Now this equation we have to solve. It would be better if we get the equation completely in terms of cos or completely in terms of sine. It yes. is not good if there is a mixture because otherwise we are not getting a quadratic equation, right? Okay. So, so to replace the cos, yes, we can do this. It will be completely in terms of sine then, right? Yes. You're getting 1 minus 4 sine square theta minus 2 sine theta equals 0 or 4 sine square theta plus 2 sine theta minus 1 is 0. This is a quadratic now whose solutions will be sine theta is equal to minus 2 plus minus root over 4 minus minus plus so 4 plus 16 by 2 into 4. So minus 2 plus minus 2 root 5 by 2 into 4. You are getting sine theta is minus 1 plus minus root 5 by 4. Right? Yes, sir. So there are values of sine. One possible value of sine theta is minus 1 plus root 5 by 4. And the answer, let's say this would be some angle. I don't know which angle gives sine theta equal to this, but I can write that angle as sine inverse of this. Yes. That is my angle. Let's say some angle C. C is equal to sine inverse of this. My solution would be theta is equal to n pi plus minus 1 power n into c, right? Yeah, okay, sir. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. There must be some angle whose sine theta is this. You can check from the tables. You will get, if you look at on, if you look at a scientific calculator, you can put in this value and see what sine theta, what angle is such that sine of it is this, right? It is showing 18 degree. That's fine. The point is not what it is. The point is how to write the solution. Yes. It, it could be 28 degrees also. I don't care about that. I care about how to write the answer for theta. Yes. Theta will be n pi plus minus 1 power n into whatever this angle is. If you don't know the angle, you can write it as sine inverse of this. Similarly, okay. for the other value where sine theta was minus 1 minus root 5 by 4, again we will say theta can be n pi plus minus 1 power n sine inverse of minus 1 minus root 5 by 4. Yes. Sir. This sine inverse is standing for whatever angle whose sine theta is this. Since mm -hmm. I don't know the angle value, I'm writing it like this. But the answer for theta will be this plus this. Both of, the, both of those are possibilities. And in both those cases, the equation will be valid. The only thing you have to be careful about is cos theta cannot be zero. Yes. Sir. If cos theta is zero, then the equation is not properly defined. Yes. Sir. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Sir. So cos theta cannot be equal to zero. So cos theta cannot be equal to cos of pi by two. So theta cannot be equal to two n pi plus minus pi by two. Those yes. values are excluded because in that case, the denominator becomes zero and sec is not properly defined. Yes. So that is how you solve like these equations. Now, for example, you should try question number uh, yeah, question number 18. Shine three theta. What is the question eighteen? In example, 
12. It is sine 3 theta equal to sine 2 theta. How are you seeing the wrong question? Mm -hmm. Question 18 is cos m theta is equal to sine n theta. In my book, it is showing sine 3 theta. What is question 14 in your book? Question 14, uh, it is 4 cos square theta plus root 3 equal to 2 into root 3 plus 1 into cos theta. The question that I'm talking about is solve um, this equation. You have to find all the possible values of theta for which this is true. Basically, we have to find a general solution, not specific yes, answers. Yes, yes. In order to find a general solution, you need to have the equation looking like cos theta is equal to cos C or sin theta is equal to sin D, something like this. Then only you can apply your formula for cos or formula for sin. Yes, sir. There is no formula when you have cos x is equal to sine theta. Is there a formula for that? No, sir. So the point here is to first obviously convert one of them into cos or sine. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. We should write this as cos of, obviously we know it is pi by 2 minus n theta. Yes, sir. That is the same thing as sine and theta. Yes. But the advantage is that now we have a situation where we can apply the formula for cos. Yes. Right? Yes. So we can yes. say now m theta should be equal to 2n pi, 2k pi because n is already being used. Yes. So 2k pi plus or minus pi by 2 minus n theta, right? Yes. The point of the question is to solve for theta and we have a theta coming here also. So it is not yet done. We have to simplify it a little bit. Case one, I will do m theta is equal to 2k pi plus pi by 2 minus n theta. And case two, I will do m theta is equal to 2k pi minus pi by 2 minus n theta, right? Yes. In this case, you get m plus n theta is equal to 2k pi plus pi by 2. So you're getting theta is equal to 2k pi plus pi by 2, which is 4k plus 1 into pi by 2 times m plus n, right? Yes. And here you will get m minus n theta is equal to 4k minus 1 pi by 2. You will get theta is equal to 4k minus 1 pi by 2 m minus n. Yes, fantastic. This is the solution for theta, this value and this values. Yes. A can be any integer. A can be anything 0, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2, whatever. Okay, sir. Are you understanding how we are solving it? Yes, sir. Similarly, you have to try basically now examples 11 and example 12. These are all... Examples 11 will be quite easy. Example 12 will be slightly more difficult. But the main idea is solving, learning how to solve trigonometric equations and finding the general solutions. Yes.
it is not enough to find one angle. You have to find all possible angles. That's what we are learning. And the three formulas that we have seen, those are the ones that you have to apply. Okay, sir. But first you have to obviously get it in the correct form. Like we always get it in the form where sine theta is equal to sine something or cos is equal to cos or tan is equal to tan. And then we apply the relevant formula. Yes, sir. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so that is that is something that you can now try these two exercises. Next class, we'll discuss if there are any difficulties in these two exercises. And if there are not too much difficulties, then we'll go to the next part, which is the main part, chapter seven. The next thing is chapter seven in SL only book, which is we will learn how to do sine of a plus b and cos of a plus b and things like that. So if you are done with the exercise 11 and 12, then you can start reading this. But focus on trying to finish this two exercises. Okay, sir. Okay, that's all for now. I will see you on Friday then. Okay, sir. Bye. Thank you, sir.